Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Yes, I have to touch all around the clock because I have seen that many people all around the world are watching Big Duke's channel. From Japan to Zimbabwe, Africa, Jamaica, America. You know what I'm saying? That is amazing all in itself. But we're going to jump right into it today on this good Saturday. We're going to answer a lot of questions that I have written down that people wanted me to answer. So I'm going to answer them collectively because there's a lot of questions. And a lot of them, the majority of the same people, I mean, the majority of the people had the same questions. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump right into it. This person, and I'm not going to name names, a lot of people don't want their names put out on video like that. So I guess they don't want the criticism, so I'm not going to name names. I'm just going to ask the question. So the question that was asked was, Big Duke, why do you guys not take examples from other YouTubers that are very professional? A lot of you guys are just doing a lot of stuff the ghetto way. Wow. So let me answer that question. First off, number one, it's number one rule. Every person who has a YouTube channel, remember, this should be your number one rule. This is my YouTube channel. You feel me? My YouTube channel, I post what I want. It's up to you to watch it or not. My YouTube channel is number one. Number two, from my experience, and this is with other social media accounts too, not just YouTube. You have to be yourself. Don't copy nobody else. What works for the next person might not work for you. That's with anything. I'll give you the perfect example. And I'm using this because I just used this yesterday with somebody who said something about me having a professional camera while I'm using an iPhone 13 instead of a professional camera. Let me tell you something. I watched the girl Peach. She's from the hood. And she's a famous YouTuber. And um, YouTuber, Facebook, she's famous like all around the board. But I watched her, um, a couple of her videos, and I read some comments. And people were saying, oh, she's too ghetto. Why does she breastfeed her baby in public? Why does she talk like this? She don't even say ask. She say ax. And you know what I'm saying? All the little criticism. But watch this right here. Last year, Peach made $121,000 off YouTube alone. Not counting Facebook. Not counting TikTok. Not counting the stuff she sells. Her videos. Her, her merch. Off YouTube alone, she made $121,000. This is the same woman that people said, why she talk like this? Why she's not professional? Why she doing this? Why she doing that? Why she doing that? She made $121,000. So apparently none of that matters. But you know why? People like realness. People want to be able to relate to people's videos. You know how many people out there that talks like Peach? You know how many people that's breastfeeding, women that's breastfeeding their baby in public? You know how many people want to know how to get hood, how to go buy a house with their, with their her hood voucher? Those are the videos she talk about. People like this. A lot of people like that. Not just black, white people too. You have to understand that when you be yourself, there's other people that act just like you. There's other people that been through what you've been through. So Big Dude's gonna be himself regardless of what anybody say. So to answer your question, this is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna post what I want and I'm gonna continue to be Big Dude. I'm not gonna act like the other professional YouTubers. There's plenty of professional YouTubers that made videos all last year. And some of them didn't even make $30,000. Girl Peach, who everybody said was unprofessional, that she's from the ghetto, that she's this. That girl made $121,000. Y'all let that sink in. Next question. Um. Oh. Do I just, Big Duke, do you just, should you just stick to just jokes and skits? Or do you think it's wise to do a lot of, do you think it's wise to do a lot of other videos? Um, a lot of other topics. Um, yes, I think a person should be able to come to your video, you, your main, whatever you was branded yourself to be, comedian, joke teller, whatever. That's what that's what propelled you. You gotta have something to propel you out to the world. But when you got other things you want to do, like I used this last time in one of my videos, if you can, if you're a person that you know how to paint, so you came on YouTube or TikTok painting, so everybody know you as a painter, but your deep deep dream is music. So what you need to do? You keep painting, keep posting videos of painting, but here and there, throw in some of your music. Paint, 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 throw in some of your music. And people start messing with it. More views start coming to your music. Now people accept your music just like they accept your painting. You see what I'm saying? There's different kind of ways to do things, but the ultimate thing is be yourself. I can't go act like Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is his own person. The things he's doing is something he desired to do his whole life. 
I seen a YouTube video where Mr. Beast told people, he said, when everybody else was in high school, middle school, talking about what they gonna be when they grow up, I said I was gonna be a YouTuber. That's what he said. And look at him, the man probably the, what, the second or the big, first biggest YouTuber in the world? The man got over 100 million followers. What? Giving away money, doing this, doing this. I'm not gonna try to act like him. I gotta do what I'm good at. Let me read y'all a statement. This is for this is for the people um, who get on my on, in my comment box and they say, Big Duke, I heard that joke before. Why are you telling jokes that people heard? For the people that don't know, and I know a lot of y'all already know, and I know y'all get tired of me saying this, but you have to remember this. New people come to my channel every day. Y'all have to remember, I, I keep saying this, I hit a thousand subscribers June 1st. This is August. I'm over 41,000 subscribers. So it's a lot of new people that they're lazy. Don't, don't get me wrong. A lot of people lazy. They don't go back and review um, some of my videos. They do that with a lot of people. A lot of people. I do it. I watch people's videos. I don't go back trying to look at their first video. So that's why a lot of people repost videos. They redo videos over. And they come back and make the same statements over because you have to let the new subscribers and the new followers know the same stuff that your already current subscribers and followers know. So, when people tell me, say, oh, I heard this joke, or this joke my granddaddy told, this is, y'all gotta understand, Big Duke is a joke teller. I am a joke teller. I tell jokes. I create jokes. I redo jokes. I tell jokes that people send me. I keep telling y'all, professional comedians have sent me jokes and asked me to redo them just to see my version. And they love them. A lot of people that know, um, what's his name? Um, Earthquake, the comedian. He posted my joke on his Instagram page. And guess what? He heard that joke before. But he said my version was the best version he ever heard. Now let me read this statement. And this is not trying to make people get in my comments to talk good. I don't, I don't, that don't bother me. Because what people don't know, I love the negativity I look that, that gets me hyped up, that gives me motivation. And I like it. I like to interact. If you notice, I, I talk back. I do. Just when you get disrespectful, I don't. Don't disrespect my family, don't disrespect me. That's what I'm not gonna tolerate. This man made this statement on Facebook Reels today. He said, Big Duke, I can always depend on you to do some great jokes. Even if I heard the joke somewhere else, I don't think no one tells it like you do, brother. And I salute him for that. And that's not, like I said, that's not to get anybody else to start doing the same thing. No, but what I tell people all the time, I'm a joke teller. Of course it's gonna be jokes that you heard. The Bible even says there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new. Only thing people do is redo them. These same Jordans that they making right now, I had them when I was younger. You just redo them, do different stuff, add different color, act like it's new. That's what we do. We do that with jokes, we do that with anything. Another thing a lot of people don't know. When you see my skits, you don't have to come in there and think that people stole A lot of times, look at the bottom of the skit. It be people names on there. They're on there because they come from Instagram, um, TikTok, other little social media outlets that allow people to create their own sound. And then is they're made for people to do them, to do it, to go in there and stitch, you know, anything. That's what they're made for. A lot of people don't understand that. So when you see people coming in, like my, a lot of my skits, my voiceovers, I'm just so good at them. A lot of people think they're mine. They think they're my voice, think, but they're not. I'm just good at overdoing a vo voiceovers or skits, however you want to call them. But when you go on Instagram, you can see somebody doing a video. Like for example, if I'm doing this video right now, how I'm doing this, this video, somebody can come and, on YouTube and hit the sound in the right bottom corner and it says use sound. They can use the sound and I'm, it's going to be my voice talking with them mimicking, acting like that's them talking. Or they can, they, they can stitch it and have have me reacting i mean talking then it goes out and they pop on the screen and they react to whatever i said it's all kind of different ways people got to understand this before they get on here and start trying to judge people when they don't really know what's going on but um i'm not going to make this video long i just want to go in there and answer a few of these questions i'm trying to make sure i didn't miss anything oh and for our last video last night when we talked about um what foods make a person know what foods were made for like poor people um, nobody really got offended, but a lot of people got in there and it was like, ah, uh, the baby's too loud in the background. Um, uh, why y'all talking over each other? Why this? Let me tell you something about debates and discussions. Look at the presidential debate. These are people that's going to be the president over the world, over, I mean, over the United States. They're having a debate. 
they're supposed to talk one at a time, but here and there, they start talking over each other. You know why? Because it's called a debate, a discussion. You're gonna say something that I don't like and I have to talk, I have to try to get my point in too. Hold up, let me let me cut you off before you paint a picture about me that that's not true. You see, this, this is what happened with debate, but it's a friendly debate, it's nothing bad. We're not fighting, we're not arguing, we're not gonna fall out with each other, you see what I'm saying? The baby in the background too long, the baby's one years old. If the baby wakes up not sleeping, they're gonna make noise. That's what it is. But that's what I'm telling you about my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is gonna be real. I'm not gonna come in here and um oh my little my little son he he can't eat the ice hole so I bite it, take a piece out of my mouth, give it to him. Ew! Did he give his one year old baby something like his mouth? <laughs> America, boy, we getting too sensitive. I'm telling you, boy, we gotta tighten up, man. But hey. I appreciate y'all, man. I hope I answered everybody's question who had that question to ask, man. And I just hope that, man, I always give insight and motivation for everybody that has a YouTube channel or a TikTok channel, man. Y'all keep moving. Oh, and by the way, I have a plaque on the way, y'all. I hit 500,000 um, subscribers. I'm at followers on YouTube. I'm mean, on TikTok. Right now, I have 501. I done hit half a million followers on YouTube, man. I appreciate every one of y'all. Got a lot of y'all from TikTok that's on my YouTube channel now. Oh, just remember one thing before I go. One thing before I go. I just read this comment this morning, and the brother know who I'm talking about. He got on my on my on my um on my YouTube video, and he commented and said, "You think you slick? You bringing all these videos you done did on TikTok over to YouTube? That ain't cool, Playboy." Are you serious? If you have any other platform that you make videos on and you're not using those same videos that's going viral to get on another platform and use them, something's wrong with you. I get paid from TikTok and YouTube. Why would I not use the jokes that I put on TikTok because that was the first platform I got on telling jokes. Why would I not get on there and tell jokes on there and then come on YouTube and not tell those jokes too? Do you not know that there's different audiences on different platforms? Can somebody please tell me that? Do y'all not know that? There's different audiences on different platforms for different people. That's why you got some people never get who's on Instagram, they'll never get on YouTube. Know why? Because the, the followers they have on YouTube, I'm on, on Instagram, they get on YouTube with the same videos and stuff and nothing happens. It just so happened that I'm fortunate enough that my TikTok, half a million followers, my YouTube in two months, I went from 1,000 to over 41,000 subscribers. My Facebook Reels, I have over 324,000 followers on there. Even my Instagram just started popping. My Instagram, I had probably 1,000 followers for for what? A whole two years or something? Three years? Now I have over 5,000 followers. Now that's booming. Y'all don't get fooled, man. I'm telling you, watch the videos on YouTube and and. and all the different platforms and learn from it. Take a little bit here and there, but don't try to copy people. Don't try to listen to everything everybody says because what worked for him might not work for you. What works for me might not work for you. It's just for you to take a little bit of this and a little bit of that, a little bit of that, and you learn. Never feel like you're too big to learn from nobody. Like I tell people all the time, people feel like I'm famous. I don't. I told them when I'm able to go on any vacation I want to go on, when I'm able to quit my nine to five, when I'm able to provide my family with anything they want, when I'm able to go buy anything I want and not worry what's in my bank account, that's when I'm famous. These followers, subscribers, that don't make me famous. I appreciate being able to go to Key West and people notice me going to um, Orlando, people notice me going out of the state. People know I love that. I love that. But I ain't famous yet, y'all. Y'all hold on, though. It gets greater later. I appreciate y'all, man. I want y'all to remember, man, if you ain't laughing, you ain't living. And I'm out. Big dude.